This drawing is used to uh, clarify several issues here. First of all, you can import a graphic of your choosing. You import these types of file types. And that's what this thing here is. This is a import. I think it's a GIF import. And what I can do, this is one side of the circuit board, and this is the other side of the circuit board. I keep them both for reference. But at any rate, you can import a graphic, and then I can do a drawing around the graphic. I added these dots. I added all these lines. I was trying to understand how this circuit board works. So you can import things into a drawing and then draw over, under, or with these imported pictures. Something else we can do is over here under File, we've got Document Info. This tells you lots of details about this particular document. Notice the name is Backup of RelayBoard.CDR. So this is a backup file, first of all, which is another point of discussion. But anyway, we can go down here and we scroll through the various parameters of this of this document. Now you notice at the top, you can't really read the dates, but what you can do is print this thing. If you print it, you get a full page printout and you can read all the dates. Of course, you can use Windows file uh, properties to find out the dates too. So that has, that's what we have to say about document information and about importing a picture to use it in your, in your drawing. Next thing we want to talk about is this backup business. So let's go to Tools, Options, and Advanced. Notice Auto Backup. CurlDraw does an automatic backup, and you can set the time interval every five minutes. I have it set for it. Save Backup to the same folder as a CDR file. If you want to include your backups with your actual files, then they'll be placed there. The beauty of a backup is if your house loses power or something, you've only lost the f maximum the last five minutes of editing. If you're concerned about that, you can change it to like one minute backups. And what it does, it keeps rewriting over the backup name. So this was a backup of this relayboard.cdr. Curl automatically did this backup. Curl Draw did. If we come down here and look at, I gotta get rid of this first. We come down here and we open. Notice my backups are mixed in with the actual files themselves. Now you may prefer not to do that. That may be too confusing for you. I don't know. But what we can do is go back to Tool Options, Advanced, and you can say always backup to a different folder. You can create a folder just to do all your backups from to place all your backups into. That way, no matter what project you're working on, you can always find the backup quite easily. And the backup will not be confusing because it won't be listed with the files you're trying to open. So the choice is yours whether or not you do that. And we can check a box here. When you actually go to the file save yourself and you try to save a file, it'll also make a backup on that save to make sure it's backed up your last changes. There's other topics under general here. Uh, display info, I don't mess with any of this stuff. Toolbox, that's just, I don't mess with that. Text, you can change things about the text. I never found a reason to. Spont, spelling, does, does spelling assist? And does typing assist it tries to do these things. So those are, I don't care about. I've used it for 12 years, never had a use for these. And one thing I want to point out is sometimes you notice I'm a little hesitant and I'm a little slow because I only use this program probably three times a month. It's been 12 years, but it's only like three times a month that I actually use it. So I get rusty between uses. So if I can relearn every month, you can also relearn every month. Once you get these basics, that's why I'm only covering the basics. There's plenty of other options for all these things. You know, all these special effects and everything, but you can do that on your own when you need it. You won't remember it three months later, so 
I suggest we stick to the basics I'm talking about in these lessons because they will do 90% of your work. Okay, let's talk about this uh, import pictures for a second. We're going to do file. We're going to import. We're going to look for places to import a picture. So there's pictures here. Let's take this picture right here. We're going to import it. We'll say import. Notice how huge it is. You can't do anything with it. It's just outrageously large. So the only way I found to deal with this is to left click and drag it down so I can find a corner and bring that corner in. And drag it back up. See the outline where it's going and bring the corner in get it smaller so it's reasonable with what I want notice now the picture is getting small enough I can actually use it so I just want to point this out you can resize and you can relocate the picture and once you click away that's where it stays so that picture is there now there's probably a more graceful way to resize that. Let's try it again. See if I figure out a more graceful way. We'll pick this one. Now under options. I see nothing that resizes the stupid thing. So I have to do an import. Like I say, it's massive now. That's a smaller picture. But there should be a way to resize that. Because you would think it would be up in here someplace. X and Y. We try this stuff. That's the position of it. This is the size of it. So you can step it down this way, but you lose your aspect ratio. You know, I don't see any way to lock. This must be what locks in the aspect ratio. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I finally figured it out. It shows the current dimensions of your import, and then you can just lock in the aspect ratio with this little knob here. And then when you change any one of the dimensions, you can see they're both changing. So that's one way. Another way would be to take it down to three inches. Now it's three inches. And the width. So that's the graceful way to do it. I figured it was a way. You got to first lock the aspect ratios and then redial the size you want the picture to actually be. So this includes how to import pictures and resize them to fit on your page.